Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and this is a comparison of three of my favourite calendar app alternatives on the App Store. When it comes to finding different alternatives to Apple's stock apps, especially things like calendars and messages and things like that, it can be difficult to find really good alternatives, especially when you're relying on the App Store, the way it's curated and the way that people review apps. Now I've chosen three of my favourite calendar apps to show you the differences and to show you maybe where they might be better than Apple's own built-in calendar app. In this comparison I'll be comparing the Sunrise Calendar, Tempo Smart Calendar and of course Fantastical. Which one is the best? I guess we'll have to find out. So this is the Sunrise Calendar. It's a free download from the App Store and it is the only one of the three that I'm going to compare that is currently a universal download so it's compatible with iPhone and it's also been optimized for the iPad. Now if you look at the user interface you'll see a very familiar look, it's very clean, lots of circles, clean lines, grey and white, some nice crisp and light text. But it's not just that that I love about this app, it's easy to use, it's intuitive and you can control various things just with some simple scrolling gestures. So like you can see on the bottom portion here. This is where I have my list of all my upcoming events and as I scroll through them you'll see the dot selector on the date on the calendar above the list actually skipping through the days. Now what's really cool about this is if I want to go straight back to today I can just press the little red icon in the bottom left hand corner and it takes me straight back to today. Um, you'll also notice that on the top here is the calendar but if you wanted to see a whole month view you can simply scroll down through the months until you get to the one you want and there I'm in December but I can also again press the bottom left hand corner icon and go straight back to today view and that's that but that's not all that's not the only gesture here if I go from right to left I can then go to my week view where it shows my lists in a more sort of traditional calendar style and again you have this bottom left hand corner icon which takes you straight back to today and then I can swipe to the right and get straight back to this beautiful really nice and easy to use interface. In terms of compatibility Sunrise is compatible with Google Exchange and iCloud but it's Google and the partnership with Google and the way it works with Google that you're going to get the best out of this but it does connect with other services as well um, but with Google for instance I can press and hold the plus button at a quick new event for instance gives me an example there but I can say coffee at Starbucks at 9 a.m. and I can add that and it'll add the event and then it says Thursday 27th of March I've got coffee at Starbucks 9 till 10 o'clock and it's done. It also gives me an option to put a location in there. I can hit that and it'll take me straight to the maps and then it'll give me an option of all these Starbucks around here. But that's, uh, that's beside the point how accurate that was. It has location based weather forecast information so if you look if I go to today you'll see on the right just here you'll see a little cloud with a six degrees icon and the same again you'll have a few different ones throughout the day so it'll give you morning, afternoon and evening for tomorrow on there as well and it is a very useful app and it has very quickly become my default calendar app because it shows me all the information I need in a really nice to use app. Social networks you'll see if I go into my settings you can see all the accounts that I've got linked with it. I've got Facebook, Google, iCloud, LinkedIn and Twitter all linked up to the sunrise calendar so when a birthday's coming up I can go to that person's timeline straight from the calendar app and I can write something on their wall on Facebook and it will post or or I can send them a text message this is fantastic how too it costs two pounds and 99 pence or four dollars 99 on the app store and currently it is an iPhone only download but as we know from reading the Flexibits, the developer's blog yesterday, we know that an iPad version is coming very soon and I can't wait for that to arrive. And it is really nice to use. If I scroll through my events here, you'll see that the date scrolls on the top 
and I can tap the top bar and it'll take me straight back to today. And what's really nice about Fantastical is that it has reminders compatibility. So not only will it read the reminders and show you any reminders for any specific day, but you can actually add a reminder and you can show the completed ones if you want to as well. Now, if you want to go to month view, that's very easy. You can simply pull that bar down at the top, the day ticker, and it will take you and it will take you to your month view and you can go straight back again to your day ticker again by the same gesture. And what I really, really like about Fantastical is it has a fantastic natural language system. So I, wherever I am, I can just type whatever I want to type and it will actually fill in the details myself, itself. So I've just typed meet with Eloise on Sunday at Starbucks at nine o'clock and you'll see that it has filled in all my details. It's got the date there, it's got nine o'clock, and it's got it in my family calendar, which is my default. You can add alerts if you want to, um, which most calendars will let you do, but that's the natural language that I love about Fantastical. And it has the same sort of engine in its Mac app. I can discard that event very easily. Um, and that is that. It's very simple. It's very useful. I think the reminders feature that's built in does make it one of the best of the lot. And still, it will show you birthdays. It will connect with other services. If I go to calendars, you've got all sorts of ones available in there that you can add or take away. You've got time zone support, which you can put on. Uh, you've also, you can highlight the weekends. You can change the theme to a light theme. You can change the default alerts. You can do all sorts of stuff like showing completed reminders or enabling reminders or even organizing your reminders by list. And you can add, you can organize which lists you see. You can start the week on a different day if you want to. Uh, you can show all the empty days. You can show anything. It's fantastic. This is the Tempo Smart Calendar. And the reason this is on the list is because it does take a slightly different approach to other calendar apps. Instead of just being a list of events and a list of things that you've got to do, it's very much focused on your meetings, on the people that you're in touch with, and actually making it a much more social and connected experience. For instance, if I go to for in, Craig Cowan's birthday, as you can see on here, you can post on their wall, you can see contact details, you can see insights, which will log into your Facebook account, and you can see all sorts of stuff. Um, it'll tell you when you've met with them, when you're going to meet with them, and all sorts of stuff like this. So it's very much a, a business and connected experience. And this is something that if you're in, if you have lots of meetings, lots of events going on, lots of conferences with different people and different companies, having these insights and being able to see them automatically is a fantastic tool. And it not only lets you see their information, you can contact them, you can call them, you can schedule and organize various group messages to tell people when you're going to be late. It's really, really nice. It shows you your weather information in the day view and a nice beautiful interface with an image on it which I actually really really like. You as for adding events it's not quite as intuitive as the other two apps. You can't just type something in and have it automatically fill in so that is a little bit more clunky. But on the left hand side here you've got all different types of views that you can have like you can have see your agenda, you can just see a list if you want to, you can go to day view, you can go to week view, you can go to month view but it all requires you to actually go into a setting. You can't just drag and use a gesture like some of the others. So in that regard, it's not as nice to use. But if I go into settings, you can see all the different services that you can actually use this with, whether it's a different email account, you can use Exchange, Gmail, Microsoft Outlook, you can use iCloud. And depending on what you want to do, it will work with various different services. So those are my three favorites. And if I was to be honest and say which one I'm using all the time right now, it's got to be Sunrise Calendar. Although Fantastical is amazing, it has some really nice features in there and I really love the reminders integration that it's got and the natural language, it isn't available yet on the iPad. And I like to use the same app if I can on both my devices and at the moment, Sunrise has got some great social features, it's got a really nice interface, it's easy to use and it's got everything really that I need 
built into the app and I can use it on both my iPhone and my iPod and it hasn't cost me a single penny. It's free, which makes it even better. So that's my favourite for now, but as soon as Fantastic Hal 2 is available on iPad, I think I'll probably change my mind. I've been Cam. If you want to ask me any questions, feel free to use a comment in the comment section below or get me on Twitter. I'm at TIP underscore Cam. I will see you again soon.